Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing MotoGP 23. It is now time for round 18 of our MotoGP career mode. It is time for the Malaysian GP. It is the Sepang International Circuit and as you can see on screen right now, qualifying went alright. We're actually on the third row here in seventh place so I'm quite happy with our start there. We'll just have to see how it goes throughout the sprint and then the race. So here we go then guys, starting from 7th place, uh, power to the maximum, we'll wait for the red lights to disappear, and away we go, oh it's not a bad start, a bit sluggish from, I think it was Betzeki and even Pekka Banyaya, there's one of the KTMs that we're going to struggle, and there goes our lack of speed, engine power 3 is not sufficient when racing in cir certain circuits like Sepang, so we were actually able to get through pretty well into qualifying just by going through into free practice 1 and then everyone went crazy, so I wasn't able to really do any better than 7th place, but uh, interesting start as we went round the outside into turn 1 and regained the position from exactly where we started. What the hell was that? Binder and I got caught up and then my rear wheel lifted off the uh, off the tarmac there and we just almost crashed. Good lord almighty. Wasn't expecting that. That has certainly shook me up. <laughs> wow, what the hell was that? It's like the both bikes just intertwined in one and it released us. Very strange. I do know in uh, previous modern GP games that does happen. If the, if you get in the way of the AI's pathing, for some reason you just like bounce out of the way. It's very awkward and very strange. So interesting, <laughs> but we're all right. We're on board the bike and we still have a chance of possibly getting into the top five with Jorge Martin and Oliveira not too far ahead of us. So into the clear corner. I was uh, struggling to turn in from where I usually want to turn. What the hell's happening to Pecco? Good Lord Almighty, Pecco's gone down and Esparger almost punted me to the scenery. Bloody hell, what a crazy start this has been here in the Sepang International Circuit. And of course, guys, if you are enjoying the video so far, don't forget to subscribe, because now is a good time to do so, because the second we get onto the straight, I reckon it's all going to kick off again and there's going to be fighting for days. So we'll see what happens. But into the right-hand side of the Sunway Lagoon. Malaysia Spark ahead of us with another Aprilia, and yet again another Aprilia is leading the way right there at the top of the pack. Maverick Vinales, top of the tower, as it stands, goes the number 12. So Marquez up into second place. Oh goodness me, that's a big punt from Brad Binder. No love lost there, I've been eyeing up his Red Bull KTM seat. I do fancy getting a promotion up to the KTM team, but depends what the offers I get at the end of the season. If we get uh, snagged up by the Catty, I don't think I'd say no to that either, but onto the brakes we go, into the first corner. AI seem a little bit sluggish here, I was able to get faster in the first split every time in qualifying, but towards the latter stage, oh Marquez has he saved it? Has Marquez done the patented save? Oh I don't think so, Marquez is down. What an effort though, he really didn't want to let go of that Repsol Honda. I mean he's been doing that for the last two seasons, <laughs> just holding on to it for dear life, so it doesn't crash, but unfortunately caught out goes the man with the number 93. So we're now up to fifth place from inheriting yet again another position. It's been a, it's been a while since we've actually executed an overtake. Of course, Sir uh, Binder trying to take our position a moment ago was just me retaliating rather than me trying to get an overtake done. So, please, so far, fifth place is where I want to be. Of course, uh, that helps our objective uh, tremendously, considering that Marco Betzeki is behind us and there's no sign of Johan Zarco. We should be securing fourth place in the championship without too much of a hitch. Now I just want to get to third place in the championship, so I do need to get some more points. We need some better positions. Zalay Spargo is off the track there. Lord Almighty, where is he going? Get him a map! Oh, good Lord Almighty. Oh, Bez has gone down. As Alice well. Spargo came onto the track like a wrecking ball with no regard for human life. He absolutely punted at me then. That's twice in as many laps. Lord Almighty, Alice, just take it easy. So on to the right-hand side. This is a very difficult right-hander, and I've completely messed it up you'll see the lack of momentum we have going into turn 14 there is going to really cost us for the straight here and look at Alicia Spargo's speed I tell you what next year we need a bike with better engine power than three it's getting exhausting to constantly lose time on the straights it's ridiculous look at that <laughs> no, it's a joke how am I going to contend in the full race in a moment with power setting two as our only aid it's going to be tremendously difficult, but we can take advantage with the fact that uh, Alicia Spargo is going to run it deep into turn one. I'm trying to sneak back up on through. Maybe I can go for the lunge here to the left-hand side. Thank you very much. Cleanly executed my fourth place. Thank you, 
Alicia Spargo, but I feel he's going to have the speed. Yes, of course he is. He's going to have the speed to go over the inside for turn number three. Now, into the difficult right-hander here for turn four. Of course, I got took out here in a live GP a few days ago. I'm still pretty annoyed about that. And uh, I'm hoping that none of the AI decides to pull a dirty move and uh, send me out into the distance there. Fastest man on circuit is Johan Zarco. Can't see him anywhere in the top uh, on the live standings on the left-hand side of your screen, but he clearly is somewhere and he's travelling very fast, so I've got to be careful that he doesn't just appear out of nowhere and decide to have a lunge. We're in a bit of a feud at the moment, myself and Zarko. He, he said something inappropriate on social media, so I've got to try and beat him in the featured race in a moment's time. But hard on the brakes we go. Can I go round the outside of Alicia Spargo? We certainly can, but we have ran it deep. Where is Alicia now? Oh, Oliver is all over the place. Oliver is off the circuit. Oh, Jorge Martin was temporarily off the circuit as well. What is going on with that right-hander? They just seem to fall to pieces in that corner. Oh, a bit of contact with uh, Alicia Spargo. He's uh, gesticulating, even though he's hit me so many times. Look at that, right back up the inside for the 12th corner. We now have a third position on the horizon. Okay, temporarily as it was, as Alicia Spargo fires it back on through. Good job for the Aprilia man to not actually hit me there in that corner and uh, go for a very clean overtake. So, Miller, not Miller, <laughs> Maverick is up into first place. Martin second and Alicia third. Myself in fourth with Alex Rins behind me. Great job for the LCR Castrol Honda man. I think that's the first time I've seen him in the top ten in quite a while. He must be uh, reliving that emotion and momentum that they gained from watching Takenakagami take points in the previous round. Yeah, of course, that's what I'm trying to do. I've got every momentum and every faith that will do well since Takenakagami acquired his first point of the season. Only took him 17 rounds here in MotoGP 23. And bear in mind, that's 34 races if you include the sprint. <laughs> that's a lot. That is a lot. So, uh, yeah, AI not being fair to Takaki Nakagami, but we do go on to the right-hand side for turn four. We are closing in on Elisha Spargo. I'm pretty nifty through the first split. It's just the, the latter stage, middle, is where I find the whole track very difficult. It's not a, a favourite track of mine. I find it uh, challenging, but I do appreciate it. And I do rather like some parts here in Sepang, but it's not my strongest, and against the 120% difficulty, AI is tremendously difficult. So I'm riding on the limit, as as always, just to stay with these guys ahead of us. If we can keep that gap to Alex Rins, I think a fourth place would be brilliant for me, as far as I'm concerned. But we go into clear for turn nine. Now, oh, look at that. everyone's off the circuit again. Oh, Maverick Vinales has gone down. Oh, hey, Martin's gone down. Was the Delaish go down as well? Alex Rins has now gone as well. What on earth is going? What is earth? What on earth is going on here? I can't even speak now. This is absolutely bonkers. We have inherited not only second, not only third, but first place. What on earth is going on here in Sepang? But I tell you what, I'm all for it. It's been a while since we achieved. You know, we we achieved a sprint win in what the Chang International Circuit. It could happen yet again here today. What a form of run we're on right now. Oh goodness me. Whoa, ten, two tenths of a second down. I know that AI absolutely dominate me going into this final corner. The, the player cannot turn in the same way like the AI can. So it's very difficult to get that right. And Alicia Spargo now has the lead. He is looking at his first sprint win of the season. In fact, it's been a while to see him even on the podium. So this is going to be mean a lot to Alicia Spargo. Oh, he got out of shape. I was trying to give him the space there so then I could go around the outside. But he, he seemed to fumble it, so... That's not gone in my favour. I was hoping to get away from Alicia. He's having a good look behind him. Yes, I'm still here. We're very much there. Maverick is 1.8 behind. I don't think we'll see him now to the end of this Grand Prix. We go on to the brakes for turn four. Whoa, look at Alicia. Rear tyre up into the air and he's running deep. We're taking advantage and we do have the lead here in Malaysia. The Malaysian fans roar in excitement as the Gas Gas Man is about to take yet again another sprint victory. Can it happen? Can it happen here today? I guess we'll have to keep on watching to find out. So, three tenths of a second is the gap. We go hard on the brakes to the right-hand side for Genting corner. Difficult corner to get right. Oh, onto the apex. Didn't lose too much time there. I thought the curve would slow me down. We're on the brakes just underneath the Michelin sign. I want to go as tight as the apex as possible here. I don't fancy getting clipped from the rear from Aleish. And if they completely mess it up into the uh, turn 10, we might take the victory here in stunning fashion oh Marquez has gone down seven tenths of a second is the gap to Aspargo is this ours to lose now 
six and a half tenths. He's going to be fast going into the final couple of corners, though. There's nothing we can do about that. The AI is just massively faster than we are. Engine brake, uh, excuse me, engine power on three for us. And that's all we can do. Uh, oh my goodness, big wheelie out on the right hand side there. Wasn't really paying attention. The gap is plummeting down to four tenths, down to three tenths. Late as we can on the brakes here, but I've got to go make sure we get it tight. Got to get this right here tight into the apex. A little bit deep. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. No, Alicia Spargo, he's going to have the speed of the line. It's going to be neck and neck. Where only one man can win here in the sprint. Who's it going to be? I think Alicia got me, didn't he? I hope he didn't. Oh, for goodness sake. I am going to fly back into the garage and I am going to scream at the technicians to get me more power. Ah! Oh, I got picked on the line. God damn it. How many races have we missed out on this season? Oh, wow. Pecco finished in 16th. How many races this season though, have we lost a point or a podium position due to speed on the line? That is really annoying. But there you go, guys. Nine additional points for our championship challenge brings us closer to the rear of Marco Bezzecchi. Just 23 points behind the number 72. Well, the sprint went pretty well. I don't know why riders are now wearing wetsuits because the warm-up wasn't even wet. So I, I don't actually know what's going on there. But I will tell you, the AI seems significantly faster already. And I'm really worried about this. Look at them all giving me a bit of a nudge to help me get going. Cheers for that. I appreciate it. I'm stuck on engine power two. <laughs> engine power three is all we've got for our season so far with the Tech 3 gas gas. I'm going to sandwich it in here as we go into turn two. Somewhat relatively safe uh, not bad positioning if i do say so myself up to third place but i do fear now that we've had to drop down to uh, engine uh, excuse me power two i don't think we're going to stand a chance to finish on the podium in this one unless the ai make those mistakes like they did in the sprint and to be honest with you i wasn't winning that sprint either without those problems ahead so i think we're pretty much where i expect to be for now i'm ahead of johan zarko that's the only goal for me today and let's just see what happens. I don't think I'm going to beat Marco, but Zeki is already ahead of me. He's already flying with the world champion ahead of him. I don't think there's much I can do now. So, oh, goodness me, Zarko is very close to my rear tyre there. But if the AI do make that mistake going into the right hand of a turn 10, then maybe I'm in the prime position here for a victory. Who knows? Let's uh, stay tuned and let's stay ace to watch the rest of it. Oh, no, they tackle it beautifully this time. Maybe not beautifully, but they certainly got through without a hitch so uh, yeah fair play to the AI now they seem to have sorted things out maybe it's that wet weather suit now they're all uh, a little bit more nervous and contemplating that the rain will come I don't think the rain will come they never mentioned it or didn't look like it was going to rain but uh, yeah we go into the right hand side and we're still closing in very much on Bez and Banyaya now with power two I do fear that oh my goodness yeah Zarko's taking a tenth out of me per, per second <laughs> per per uh, Per tick of the clock. Zarka was pulling time away from me there. And now I've gone deep into turn 15. Up at the inside. No doubt is Zarka. There he is. So now it's time to, to fight back. Can we get through on the number 5? Still in power setting 2. I want to try and get him on the brakes going into the first corner. So onto the brakes right before the MotoGP sign is on your left hand side. And that puts us in a good spot. Not too far behind from Bez now actually. If we can... Uh, if we make an overtake and just ruffle their feathers a little bit, maybe then we can keep this honest and keep a chance open for victory. Here comes Zarka though, he's pushed me through. That small nudge is all it needed to push me extremely wide, so I'm going to go for the lunge here. Almost looking like uh, that dirty rider in Mona GP from the other day in the live GP, but uh, I don't know, that's uh, relatively aggressive, but uh, it's clean enough that we both stayed on the track because Zarko now continues to push me. I think uh, Zarko's had enough. I know. Oh, Maverick! Said he. That's the worst possible moment for me. The fact that he went back up on the inside there when I was turning in, that could have easily ended in a catastrophe. So I'm going to fly back up on the inside, hopefully, with the additional speed, uh, speed of the slipstream. Hard on the brakes, we go into the right hand, uh, left hand side here. I'm trying to position myself. Oh, no, Maverick and Zarko! Oh, my goodness, I think I've just punted Zarko. Oh, no! Oh, Zarko will be livid. I think... I, I don't know. Maybe I was to blame for that. I can't... <laughs> it looked like to me that Maverick was going to turn in and then he just made a mistake. So he lifted Zarko up into me because I was quite confident with that position that I would turn in just behind them. 
I was not expecting Maverick to lift him up there. I don't know. I need to watch that back, honestly. I couldn't I couldn't really see. Maybe I was completely out of shape there, and I apologise for that. But, wow, Zarko is going to be livid. He's down, what, four and a half seconds? He's still got a chance to come back into this, very much so. I think with a corner like that, you don't lose too much time because you can just get back on the bike and you're travelling the same speed as everyone else. But I, I sincerely apologise for that. But it did feel like I was happy to go in that corner the speed I was going. And I've been doing that in the practice, the qualifying, everything. And then Maverick was... Uh, he just pushed him, I don't know, but that's probably my fault, to be honest. I, I was the one who hit them, so I would probably take the blame for that. But to be honest with you, I don't doubt that Johan Zarko will still find a way to find us again. <laughs> I just have this feeling, because you think about it, four seconds, and I'm probably losing a second per lap. By lap, what, six, seven, maybe eight? He'll be there. <laughs> He'll be fighting with us again. He might absolutely lunge at me as well now. I mean, it's the AI. The AI is just significantly overpowered here on 120% difficulty. Look at their corner speed. Look at the way tra they travel on the straights. Yeah, it, it's going. It's very hard sometimes to gauge how the AI do things in this game. Like, for example, here, they're really slow into turn 7. And I have messed it up completely. I've almost crashed there going into turn 7. I should have been paying attention. Oh, goodness me. That was a scary moment as we now go onto the brakes. This is exactly what I mean. I was going for that tighter line here, but... No, actually, now I think about it, I think I was at fault. I think that's my fault. Apologies, Zarko. I've just done my own Dirty Rider version of an eye right here in the very same track. Lord almighty. But the thing is, no doubt we're going to see some more aggression from the AI in this game. And honestly, I think all season we've been punted, we've been battered, we've been bruised, we've been pushed, we've been shoved. Sometimes I don't really care to give us the AI like that because they are clueless and they are extremely aggressive here in MotoGP 23. So no remorse from the doctor right now. Although I did take full credit and apologised. <laughs> anyway, Oliveira up on the inside, no doubt, because I can't turn in on the left-hand side. The, uh, the bike just refuses to move going into this corner. And then the AI just do that. So, yeah, no remorse. That's it. That's, that's, I'm now, what the hell are they doing off the circuit? We didn't just lose 4th place there, we lost 5th as well. So that has really, really hindered our progress here in today's video. But, we might get through a Marquez, excuse me, oh, that, that is aggressive and that's cheeky. Mark is not going to like that. I think he made a comment actually about me always always hitting Marquez. I think it was somewhere on the social media, but uh, I, yeah, I, honestly, look, he's just done that to me as well, so fair enough. I think that's free game. The AI in this one, they don't care. Neither do I. You guys don't either. Let's just keep on pushing them around. We'll see what happens. I am desperate to finish in the top three in the World Championship, and I can't do it by being too relaxed and being a pushover. So you've got to go for it. And Marquez in real life is extremely ruthless, so uh, I'm sure he wouldn't disagree in his own time. But anyway, onto the power we now go onto the right-hand side. Breaking early for the right-hander for the Genting corner. Keep it in as tight as we possibly can and get on the power, but avoid that curb there. T touching that curb there is a death sentence sometimes. Onto the break. Uh, Marquez is. That, that's pretty much what I was expecting Marquez to do right there. He did the same thing that Maverick did. He looks to be going into the corner and then drifts wide somehow. So I had no choice but to go for that lunge then, and there comes Martin. A little bit of an apology, but fair enough. It was a, an aggressive move. But yeah. Prime example of what I was expecting Marquez to do right then because of what Maverick Vinales did earlier. So, yeah, vindicated, maybe not, but uh, I'm still going to question that one. I need to watch that back. I'll have a look at it once the video is finished, and then I'll make my mind up from there. Frankie Morbidelli right behind us. He's got the wetsuit on, keeping himself uh, dry, I guess. <laughs> Probably covered and drenched in sweat now, though, because of the, the temperatures. Did he run across the curb then? Very interesting strategy as, Mar as now Quattararo flies up on the inside. Super difficult corner to get right that when you can't turn in and you can't have any speed on the acceleration. You've got no power. It's very difficult. Oh my goodness, I thought I was going to clatter into the rear tyre of uh, Quattararo then. They braked so early. Good lord, that scared me, that did. And now up on the inside of Franco. Bit of contact, bit of a nudge with the number 21. I really, for some reason, I never understand why that happens here in MotoGP 23. You make a small bit of contact with the rider and for some reason your bike wheelies. I, I don't really get it, but we'll attack back here on Fabio. Can we? 
oh, we've got to be so careful touching the apex there. Sometimes it results in an immediate crash. As we're going to try and fly back over the inside of the Yamaha, not possible. Would really like to try the Yamaha for next season in MotoGP career mode, I really would. I like the Yamaha. I really do, I think it's one of the best bikes in the game, but honestly, I've used the Yamaha before, so I, mm, not for a full season, but for a uh, short MotoGP 21 season, I think it was. So, onto the power, and then onto the brakes. Here we go, is Fabio up on the inside? He is, I don't, oh, goodness me, I tried to go for the, for the inside line, we got it. But Fabio's now got the inside line for the right-hander. Looking a bit like Rossi and Marquez here, exchanging positions here in Malaysia. So as it stands, we're on lap five, and Zarco is 1.5 seconds behind me. I told you he'd be coming back, and he certainly is. So for the French fans, they're doing me one over here. Quattro are ahead of us. And then there's Zarco approaching as well. Ooh, good to see the sunlight's coming out. So I don't think we will get a rainy, wet, uh, rainy session in this one. I think the, uh, the rain will keep away for now, so that's good stuff for the Malaysian fans. Now onto the brakes on the left-hand side. I cannot turn in. That's the most I can turn in. For some reason, there's like a barrier that just stops you from turning in. And looking at our championship challenge for third, that's getting away from us. Oh, and there's a sprint winner, Alicia Spargro. We're still next to each other, even in this part of the race. Two Red Bull KTMs are behind me on circuit, so that's not really comforting. I, do, I, I am thinking about moving up to the factory KTM team. Joining the Red Bull KTM team with, uh, I would assume it would be Brad Binder, but unfortunately, for some reason in this one, Jack Miller is the team leader. Even though it's his first season with KTM in MotoGP 23, for some reason, they would uh, they would promote Jack as team leader and Brad Binder as the one to say goodbye if we did join the Red Bull KTM. So, I'm still not sure. I need to know what offers I've got. I will let you know the second I've decided. Unless I just save it for a surprise reveal, and then we can find out together. But uh, in the right-hand side, it's uh, another 158 for us on that lap. We actually did a little bit better, but it's still not good enough. And I've gone deep again. I'm off the circuit, back on the circuit. I've just hit Alicia Spargo. He did a terrible rejoin early, and I've just done the same right to him. And that quick glance behind us showed exactly where Johan Zarko is. Here comes Jack Miller. Look at that. <laughs> what a move. Oh, and Zarko's here. Oh, no. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Zarko's going to lunge, isn't he? He will be livid from me taking him out earlier. And here he comes, the man with the Furigan leathers. He goes around the outside. Not possible. Not this time for Johan Zarko. Onto the power and keep it on the right-hand side. And hopefully we can line up against Jack Miller. He's touched my rear tire. Zarko, no. 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 Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is not how I expected nor wanted this Sepang International Circuit race to go. Really disappointed with that. I, it was totally justified, though. I mean, I took out Zarko earlier. Zarko took me out, and then he took himself out as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he finished 16th, so he must have got back on the bike, but that's disappointing. I'm going to lose re reputation points for that, and my championship challenge for third is really slipping away now. I mean, Zarko was still ahead, eight, ahead, eight points ahead of him, so there's still a chance for us to keep that fourth place in the championship, but that is a disappointing end. I'm really sad that it's come to its conclusion that way, but it is what it is, and that's racing, so unfortunately, we will have to move on. So, guys, I will see you tomorrow for more Dot Race content. Do not forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and even comment down below what you enjoyed about today's video, but uh, I will see you tomorrow for some time trial, and then we'll get back to career mode coming very very soon. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video, ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Trace video.